This is Krovan back once again with T-Days for the Dystopia versus Ivy League match. Dystopia has brought two Bruduxes, a Cyclone, a Guardian, two Pilgrims, and two Curses, and an Iteron Mark V. And for Ivy League, we have Abaddon, two Dominics, Hyperion, Rock, Cormorant, times two, two Thrasher, and a Catalyst. And the match has started with what looks like lots of Smart Bombs. It has a lot of damage. All the all the damage, uh, all of the shields rather on the uh, on the Dystopia team already down. Um, looking also damage being spread out amongst the Ivy League ships. It's going to be very interesting to see if those Ivy League ships are able to hit anything with the amount of tracking disruptors that these uh, that these Amar recons can put out. And we've lost one of the thrashers already for Ivy League. Um, lots of damage going off. There's basically smart bombing rock going uh, here. And everyone warped in at zero, and it's uh, seriously taken the shields out, but not enough at this point to uh, be dropping any of the Dystopia Reliant. Yeah, the Disco Rock is, uh, is has been rather impressive thus far. We do still see some drones on the field. Um, and uh, again, the Dystopia team... We've lost another one of the destroyers now for Ivy League. Maybe uh, a Cormorant? Unless they already lost a Cormorant. Um, and now the Catalyst taking heavy damage. And I'm kind of curious if that's not coming from those smart bombs. Now the uh, the Catalyst down as well. The Thrasher taking heavy damage. And it looks like, yeah, Thrasher down. Looks like uh, Dystopia is focusing on the Tackler so they can go after these battleships piecemeal. It looked like the uh, Dystopia Knights Iteron was taking damage. It's wrapping up now, uh, thanks to that Guardian. Yeah, so we have some shield damage on pretty much all of the ships uh, at the moment, but nothing is causing a serious problem. The Guardian is able to keep up and has kept that Iteron Mark V back up again. Uh, only the Cormorant left for Ivy League on the, uh, the Tackler front, but they still have their Abaddon 2 Dominics, Hyperion, and there is Disco Rock. And it'll be, it, you know, last time I think it was, I think it was the Dystopia uh, Iteron that we saw tracking disrupting last time. It'll be interesting to see if they're, if they're continuing that. Um, the Dystopia team still taking some spread damage. The Guardian seeming to be keeping up with it very easily. And you've got to think at this point, most if not all of those five battleships have got to be just about completely cap dry right now. Um, the, and the first, the first pilgrim now for Dystopia, he's dropped down to about half armor, and we're seeing that rock. He's not out of cap because off go the smart bombs once again. In fact, the rock did a very clever thing. He's driven straight at the guardian and popped all of the drones that were around it. Yeah, and it's, this is uh, <laughs> this is definitely an interesting setup we're seeing on this disco rock. Um, not sure exactly how many smart bombs he's got, but it's doing appreciable damage now as we see both curses for Dystopia now below half armor. And uh, let's see, I, I'm not seeing the Bruduxes mixed in here. It looks like they're at range. Are, if those may be rail Bruduxes, in which case, um, well, T-Rex demonstrates his tournament prowess once again with rail Bruduxes. Uh, we've lost the final destroyer, or we, I think we already had lost the final destroyer for Ivy League. The Abaddon for Ivy League is taking damage. He's almost down to 50%. Um, the Guardian seems to be keeping up with all the damage on his own team for Dystopia right now. Uh, meanwhile, that, that Abaddon slowly but surely being burned through. It looks like they decided to scatter from the rock, so the uh, Dystopia Alliance team spread out a little bit and let the Guardian rep back. Uh, one of the Pilgrims is now about half armor again, fluctuating, and the Iteron is also taking some more damage. Uh, I suspect the Iteron is doing what it was doing last time, which is uh, actually boosting the, um, the Guardian with um, sensor boosting and uh, also sensor strength. Yeah, that is that is very possible. Um, and it's curious now. Oh, now there may be there wasn't any neutralizing going on against the rock earlier, which since that was the only real source of damage Ivy League had at the time was a little bit silly. But now it looks like they may have some newts on him. I don't see the smarties anymore. He's close to the Iteron and not popping them, so I think he may be cap dead. Meanwhile, that Abaddon has been taking damage. He's just about out of armor. Um, you know, I liked this setup from Dystopia when we first saw it, and uh, despite t best efforts, it looks like it is going to be victorious in this match. Uh, now, the Guardian, though, is... Oh, wow, he's very quickly dropped to 50% armor. 
could be the turnaround at this point. Um, certainly, with the smart bombing rock having taken out a lot of the maintenance drones earlier, uh, we just have a, a fleet of what looks like damage drones on the field here, Valkyries and uh, Ogres, and he's in big, big, big trouble now. Um, yeah, he's pulling back a small amount of armor for losing a little bit of structure. So at this point, this could be the turning point. We've lost, lost. Um, is the Abaddon that we've lost now for for Ivy League. Uh, there is Cap going to that Guardian. It looks like he's pulled far enough away that he's not taking damage anymore. And uh, now we're seeing he's dead about 60% structure, but he has pulled back a little bit of armor, still hanging in there, soaking up all the DPS from the Ivy League team. And now he's lost that armor again, but he's not repping anyone else at the moment. Uh, but it doesn't appear that he has to. Now we see one of the dummies for Ivy League starting to take armor damage as well. So it's going to be... Curi oh, and down goes that Guardian. I, th he, I don't know if he got nuded down. Looks like he may have gotten nuded down and was unable to uh, unable to keep up with the damage anymore. We also have the Hyperion for Ivy League starting to take a bit of damage. I saw another load of drones pop as that uh, rock, disco rock of doom, is uh, closing in on the itty five, and uh, it seems that with the guardian down, they're not focusing fire yet, Ivy League. But I would like to think that they could drop some of these other ships pretty quickly. Yeah, it's a little, a little bit strange because, like you said, it is possible though. Bear in mind that you know the the Hyperion is still out there. Um, it's a turret ship. These ships are going to be very, very low on cap, if they have any at all. I'm seeing newts going to all three of the remaining battleships. As the first pilgrim now for Dystopia is just about to run out of armor. Without that guardian there, this is going to be the end for him, unless he can pull enough range or transversal. Um, and it doesn't look like that's the case. And down he goes. We have the Rock has decided he's going for that iter on Mark V. He doesn't like the idea of PvP iter ET5, so he's uh, going to pop him with the smart bombs. Uh, with that Pilgrim down, we've got one of the Ivy League Dominixes in deep structure still. Um, it's looking a bit... It could go either way at this point. Um, the damage output from the Dystopia Alliance team is being reduced somewhat by the fact that the drones have been being popped by this uh, smart bomb Rock. But if he's nowhere near the Dominix, and the Dominix is now popped, um, yeah, it's going to be a problem because there's still quite a lot of drones on the field uh, with these uh, bonus Damar ships. Yeah, with the bonus Damar ships as well as the uh, as well as the Brudixes, they apparently have some drones that have been hunting down the rep drones. And without you know, with all the rep drones down, you think you've got to think they're probably going after the uh, the drones of the the Dominixes at this point. Uh, well, the Dominix, but the Hyperion looks to be the next target of Dystopia, and. Uh, We'll see now. He's down to about 75% armor, and we've lost the Iteron. We've lost the Iteron for Dystopia. Um, but, uh, and, and so now we're down to Dystopia having the two Brutuses, the Cyclone, the Pil one Pilgrim, and two Curses against the Dominix, about a quarter of a Hyperion at this point, and the Rock for Ivy League. It's, it's getting a lot closer than I thought it would, but I still think Dystopia's got this one. The Ivy League are doing what they can on the drones at the moment. I was going to say the Itty Ron is Itty gone, but that would be not good. Um, the Fulgrim for Dystopia Alliance now in half armor. I don't know if they'll be able to drop him before the Hyperion goes, though, because he's now about to hit structure. Yeah, it's going to be a tight one. Um, and that Pilgrim, oh, looks like the damage on him has slowed down significantly at this point. Um, Dystopia still has a lot of Valkyrie 2s out, and they did that. Hyperion now dropping half structure. Um, the drones from those uh, Amar Recons are actually going to be doing a bulk of the damage at this point, and the Hyperion has gone down. Um, so the and the Pilgrim is still up. So I guess that answers who's going to who's going to outlast there. Um, now just the Dominix and Rock remaining for Ivy League. Uh, if that Rock has is able to hold any cap, then he might be able to last a while since he'll be able to pop the drones of the uh, Pilgrim and the Curses. But I don't think they're going to allow that to happen. It looks like Ivy League have now decided to take on uh, one of the Brutix, and he's now in half armor. Obviously, no reps for him. Uh, it'll be a question now of, will he be able to get out of range of that Dominix? 
Well, it looks like he's he just ran right into the Dominics. He's not he's not terribly interested in getting out of range by the looks of it. Um, we're taking a little bit of a closer look there now. Yep, those are definitely railguns on that Brutix. And he is down to about 25% armor, but the Dami is down to about 10% armor, so he may be able to uh, may be able to drop that Dami before they, they lose the Brutix. Yeah, the Dominic's now. Obviously, Galente's ships have quite a lot of structure, but there's not enough in this case. And he is about to pop, so we'll be losing. And we just have lost the last uh, Dominic's for Ivy League, leaving them just their Disco Rock up against uh, Pilgrim, Two Curse, Cyclone, a Brutix with no armor left, and a Brutix that's not been touched. Um, I don't know if we'll see any more Smart Bomb action at this point, because there's all the bonus uh, uh, Nos and Newt ships sitting, uh, newting the hell out of this uh, poor rock. Actually, now I'm taking a look at the other Brutix here. Is it possible those may be... No, I'm not sure if those are... I'm not sure if those are Neutrons or what. I, I, I feel the Ions on my Brutix, so... Um, but that Brutix, that first Brutix now, just about to hit structure. The Rock in half armor. Uh, looks like the Brutix is going to outlast the Rock as well. Yep, no cap at all left on this poor rock. He might, might have had some cap at some point, but he's now got no armor. Oh, there goes one final smart bomb as his structure is nearly completely down. And there he goes. You can stop the rock. And so we have Pilgrim, Two Curse, Cyclone, Brutix times two, survive for Dystopia Alliance. And with that, it's back to Soundwave. <laughs> 